Day four, Banda Aceh. I'm in the old Hindu capital of Indrapuri, and this is the beautiful early 17th century mosque, the Masjid Tua, which is done in the, the Muk style, the tiered roof, which is rumored to be also ancient Austronesian, but it's got that lovely Isla Majapahit looking wall around it. Rather intriguing. Filling it on Sajada and Purbak Alaya. The view from the drum tower at the Masjid Tua, the 17th century riverside mosque of the old Hindu capital of Indrapuri in Banda Aceh. Three-tiered timber pavilion in the Damak style is the most interesting and this wall which is a copy of the wall at the Kraton, the Tamansari in town, so some architect has obviously copied that or was it in fact somehow related but it's similar to the wall of the mosque at Polopo in Sulawesi, South Sulawesi, which is the oldest mosque, apart from the Goa Mosque, the Masjid Tua Palopo, the place for doing one's ablutions before praying is rather smartly included in the entrance architecture. These girls are doing a morning jog, a few outlying buildings, a little mashallah over there. Lovely detailing around very nice terracotta floor it's been changed to homogenous tiles tragically but the timber architecture octagonal timber posts I mean, it's quite common in Sumatra you see buildings very like this in Minangkabau the Bukit Tinggi area but that sort of detailing to me it always looks distinctly Javanese Interesting doodads on the decorative, on the uh, trusses, hanger downers, the king post hanger downers, marking grounds for like that. For some reason, there's always two clocks in a mosque, well, terribly important the times of the five prayer times in Islam, and the time of breaking the fast has to be right to the second or something. Someone up there in heaven will ring a penalty bell. Suggests that there would have been some built form over the pulpit. It's a rather nasty modern Methodist pulpit that's appeared there, but there could have been something more carved and decorative. Great chair. Lovely, lovely thick wall. Very similar to the Masjid Agung in, in uh, Chirabon too, the Chitarasa. Chitarasa is a term you hear a lot around here too. Oh, there's some great carving. Right, we found a bit of carving up there. Very interesting. Carving in the uh, style I saw at the museum yesterday. Like a Batunisa, it's quite unique. Remembering that Hindu first came to Malaysia in Guacabao across the strait. It's possible this is, has Hindu derivatives. Pasisi of style too, coastal Malay. From Yemen to Makassar, what sees this sort of carving. Lovely serenity in the architecture of the Masjid Tour in Indrapuri. Just next to the old mosque in Indrapuri, I've discovered this compound of very handsome and beautifully detailed architecture. Give or take a coat of lime paint. Old Achi houses, old Achini stilt houses. But this one is 
particularly beautiful. Love the little Malay trim on the, the floor of that building, the outside of the base. Charming. That's great. What a great look. Huh. The interior of the stilt house, which is sort of a madrasha, it's part of a Islamic school for infants. A beautiful order in this space. Oh, the wondrous trophy cabinet at the end of the school hall. So from this side, the south side, sorry, the west side of the mosque. You see that this has been a fort. It's called a fort on the plot. It was a Hindu fort on the river. It was the palace. Fascinating. 